Hey Collider fans, Riley and Roka here and Cameron Diaz reportedly retired quietly from acting. This is shocking to us. We're gonna break it down right now. So yeah, there was initial rumor a few years ago. Selma Blair, who's friends with Cameron Diaz, was yeah. asked about a potential The Sweetest Thing uh, re, uh, sequel, yeah. so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, no, Cameron Diaz is retired. Everybody lost their mind. She has to go on Twitter and she has to say, whoa, 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 whoa I'm retiring myself from being Cameron Diaz's spokeswoman. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was just, I, I was joking, I was joking, I was joking. Well, yeah. now we have a reunion issue at EW. And there is a little interview happening, mm -hmm. and Christina Applegate is there, Cameron Diaz is there, Selma Blair is there, yeah. and they do this breakdown of talking. It's like, you know, uh, have we reunited since uh, since acting in that? No, why not? I don't know. You guys tell me. Our kids are friends. Should we do that? Maybe we should do another movie together. And Cameron Diaz says, that's so awesome. I'm totally down. But then she says, I'm semi-retired, too. And I am actually retired, wow. so I would love to see you ladies. What the heck just happened, Roka? I, I don't know. This is an interesting uh, story because she hasn't done anything credit since like 2014, 2014. I think. 2014. Yeah, Annie. She was Hannigan and Annie and a couple other films that year. They didn't do that well, these films. And, you know, she got married in 2015 to Benji Madden. So sure. maybe she's just kind of hit that place where she's made enough money. She's lived her career. She's lived her. I remember she was a model before she was an actress. So she was making money on that end, too. And some of her great, I mean, I've enjoyed her as an actress in numerous pieces. Charlie's Angels, The Mask, you name it. Uh, even Bad Teacher, I think is what it was called, yeah, that one where she did with Justin Timberlake. I enjoyed that about her. So she was a, a really fun actress to watch. Gangs of New York, you could throw in there as well. Fantastic. She has a great uh, a body of work, and maybe she's just hit that place where enough is enough. We saw this with Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman retired, he's never come back. He no. has never come back. And sometimes you hit that place where you're just done, you're working on your life, and you don't want to go. And there's a, there must be a reason that she hasn't done anything in four years, right? Yeah. And so maybe Maybe because uh, Selma said in that interview that she gets th uh, that uh, Cameron gets thrown scripts all the time. People want to bring her back because there is a, a love for her. And obviously Shrek, Fiona or Fiona and Shrek, she's done the voiceover for that. So uh, to me, this seems like she's kind of hit that place where she wants to live her life, enjoy her married life, be in love, and go forward. And maybe there isn't anything out there just yet that's going to drag her out of retirement. I think she's definitely way young enough to still make a change later on uh, as she gets more settled and in, into the situation of her life and marriage, and then make that change and come back. Well, it's interesting because you mentioned Fiona yeah. and Sh in Shrek. There is another Shrek movie in development, so oh, that right. could conceivably bring her back if this is true, yeah. if this is true, they could bring her back as the voice. Doesn't have to do a lot of prep for that. I mean, obviously, right. prep as an actress, but she right. shows up for perhaps a day or two, a week to, mm -hmm. you know, record her voiceover. Yeah. I find it interesting. I wonder if it actually is her being retired or if she's just saying that and taking the time mm. to maybe find, maybe enjoy the marriage, sure, maybe sure, enjoy sure. the honeymoon phase that's going on, you know, three years yeah. now. Uh, and and looking at projects, but when she says I am retired, and the fact that Selma Blair was quoted as saying she's retired, yeah. it all seems to be pointing in that direction. Do you think there is a project other than Shrek that could get her to come out of retirement, Roca? Yeah, I think there is. I think there always is. Yeah. Once you get bit by the bug to be an actor, it's really hard to walk away from it. When you get older, it's, it's easier because the grind of showing up on set early and being there all day and traveling around the world, and eventually as you get older, that becomes like just laborious and it becomes exhausting and yeah, you just sure. don't want to do it anymore. And being on those sets, as fun as it is to work, it's also a lot of hurry up and wait. And once you get into a nice settled, uh, peaceful existence, you're making money and you've got residuals, got all stuff coming in, it would take a lot to kind of bring you out of that comfortable space. So I think there is something, there's always, you never know, there's always a young writer, director, whatever coming up who could write the right uh, uh, project or write the right role for her in a good project and get her to come out of retirement. I think it's always possible, but it's, but she seems like the kind of person that when it's the right role, she'll know and then she'll come out of retirement and do it. I think what the lesson here is this, don't tell Selma Blair anything because she's going to tell stuff in an interview. So uh, yeah. I feel bad for Selma to be <laughs> outed like this a little bit. But, you know, you got to take responsibility for the things you say. Yeah, <laughs> important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. Don't talk to <laughs> Selma Blair about your plans for retirement. Uh, it, uh, the last point here is that in 2017, December of 2017, yep. Cameron Diaz and her husband, Benji Madden, 
they are adopting a baby. Yeah. That was uh, brought to, to light in a news article on uh, Life and Style magazine. Okay. And it does say that she has wanting to focus on a family. That's yeah. December of 2017. You do the math. It looks like she is definitely, at least for now, retired. Yep. I am using the air quotes. So everyone out there, Collider, are you sad to hear that possibly Cameron Diaz has retired from acting? Would you want to see her come back? Or do you think this is just her kind of joking with some friends, joking to Selma Blair? Maybe, Maybe she'll adopt a baby with her husband, start a family, take a couple years to get that going and then find a project right for her and come back. Drop some comments in there. Tell us what you think about Cameron Diaz and whether or not you want to see her back or if you think she should be stayed retired. We want to hear from you and like and share this video. Get everyone talking about Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Maybe she'll come out of retirement because of this video. And subscribe to Collider Video for Roca, for Riley. We'll see you next time.